Hello students, welcome to the A level accounting. In this video session, we are exploring the consignment account. Let's get started. Consignment is a system where one person sends the goods to another so that the latter can sell those goods on behalf of the person who sends it in the first place. Let's understand this better with the business context. Mr. Mark is in textile business based in Bangalore. He has been exploring new business opportunities in Singapore. Since he does not have much knowledge about language, culture, trading practices, etc., of Singapore, Mark has contacted Mr. Singh in Singapore to sell his textile items in Singaporean market. Singh has agreed to sell the items on behalf of Mark in Singapore market in return a commission of 20% on the gross sales. The person who sends the goods, in this context, it is Mark, who is called a consigner, and the person who receives goods, in this context, it is Singh, is called consignee. The consigner of the goods only transfers possession of the goods, and he retains ownership over them. To summarize, 1. Consignment involves two parties, consigner and consignee. 2. The consigner hands over control of his goods to the consignee. 3. Ownership over goods remains with the consigner until they are sold. 4. Consignee is responsible for taking care of the consigner's goods. 5. Consignee bears expenses for transport and sale of goods unless agreed otherwise, and 6. The consigner pays the consignee for his services with some commission on the sale of goods. Students, it's time to think and answer the a few questions. Question 1. Explain two advantages for Mr. Mark to have Mr. Singh as his agent in Singapore. Question 2. Explain two disadvantages for Mr. Mark to have Mr. Singh as his agent in Singapore. And question 3. Explain two differences between sales and consignment. If you find information in this video is useful for you, please like and share this video. Thank you, and happy learning.